Indian Premier League is all about glitz, glamour, the viewership it attracts, the adrenaline rush and the overnight sensations that it produces. Some stay in the spotlight for seasons, some sustain for few matches and there are also one-night wonders. Making us ponder, where are they now? In this video, we learn about Paul Valtati, the former Kings XI Punjab opener who scored a famous 100 against CSK but perished soon after. The Paul Valtati Story Paul was born on 7 December 1983 in Mumbai. He first burst onto the cricketing scene and age group level for Mumbai in the late 1990s. Paul was trained in Dilip Vengaskar Academy in Mumbai. He later made his way into the Indian Under-19 World Cup team of 2002 alongside the likes of future stars Irfan Patan and Parthil Patel. In a game against Bangladesh while batting on number 5, he was struck under his right eye. It was a serious injury and kept Paul out of action for a while. The only chance that came his way was four years later in 2006 when he debuted for Mumbai in a one-day game against Baroda. A 31 ball 16 batting at number 6 meant that he won't be playing again for Mumbai for quite some time. But eventually, Paul made his first class debut in 2011-12. Some power-packed performances for Mumbai in T20 cricket earned him an IPL contract for Kings XI Punjab in 2011. And then, it was time for the big show. It was April 13, 2011. The IPL was just in its fourth season then. Defending champions Chennai Super Kings were looking for a strong win. Skipper MS Dhoni justified every bit of this craze with a 20-ball 43 as CSK posted 188 for 4 batting first. In classic MSD style, it took two sixes for the crowd to go crazy. But little did MS Dhoni know what lay ahead, as a player decided to make everyone take notice of him. That was the power of Paul Valtati and his unbeaten 63 ball 120. An innings that made everyone wonder who is this dasher, at least for that night. With that, Kings 11 Punjab chased down the Mammoth 189 run target with 6 wickets and 5 balls to spare. It was the first 100 of IPL 2011 and the 13th overall in the tournament. Paul scored 463 runs in IPL 2011 to emerged as one of Kings XI Punjab's highest-run scorers that season. He also became a proud owner of the Orange Cap at times. Many fans and experts saw him as the next big thing in Indian cricket. However, destiny had planned something else. Although Paul hailed from Mumbai, he shifted his cricketing base to Himachal as he was being fast-tracked into the Ranji Trophy team. An unfortunate wrist injury followed and his first-class career ended after just five matches. Paul said the injury occurred during IPL, restricted his batting and subsequently his performances dipped down. While he was retained by the Kings XI Punjab for the following season, Paul scored just 30 runs in 2012. In the subsequent season in 2013, he got only one opportunity to bat in which he made six runs. In IPL 2014, he remained unsold and with that, his fame started to fade away. Paul said he was content with his achievements. Since then, Paul has been playing cricket for his employer, Air India. He got the job under the sports quota. The job requires Paul to only practice and play games under the terms of his employer. When any cricketer performs exceedingly well, fame, wealth and overnight success is a part of their journey. While some look back and wonder what changed in their destiny, Paul's story reflects that true success lies in the contentment of one's journey, no matter how long it lasted.